Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. I want to share with you today the gift of Jesus Christ. Now, I know that maybe those who listen to this program are born again. You know who Jesus is. But there are others maybe listening that have never accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior, and they've never been truly born again. Or maybe there are those who have been astray, uh, have strayed from God, have gotten away from their faith and have just given up because of, of circumstances or, or just neglect of this wonderful gift of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter whether you are good or bad, whether you are religious or non-religious, whether you believe in God or don't believe in Him. It doesn't matter your philosophy of life or how you have lived. God is still personally and vitally interested in you. The Bible tells us in Psalm 145, the Lord is good to everyone. In fact, he showers compassion on all his creation. God cares. God cares for you this morning. He cares about your fears, your frustrations, your unfulfilled desires, your loneliness, He sees the emptiness of your life, your problems, even your hidden heartaches. And he longs to have you bring all of them to him and accept his peace. Jesus said, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. This is the New Living Translation of John 14, 27. I truly believe that without Christ, there is no peace. We might have a false or a temporary peace, but since Jesus is the Prince of Peace, I believe it is in him that we have a settled once and for all peace in our life. Our common approach to life is usually very self-centered. It's not Christ-centered at all until you understand who he is. Because if we are left with a self-centered life, it's all about me. I want to be free. I want to go my own way. I want to live my own life. This was all settled long ago in the Garden of Eden when people chose to go their own way and to leave God out of the picture. And it's very prevalent today as well. Scripture leaves no doubt about it. There's nobody living right, not even one of us. Romans 3.10 declares that we all have sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. And the end result is the wages of sin is death. God calls this sin when we go our own way when we ignore his way so let's face it when we go our own way without God the Father Jesus the Son and the Holy Spirit we miss out we miss the mark we have no direction or on where we're going or how we're going to get there or even if we're going in the wrong direction that is why Dearly beloved, we all need a Savior. We need Him in the nasty now and now, not just in the sweet by and by. That is why Jesus came. He, our sin, you see, separated us from God forever. And then came Jesus. He came to our rescue. The Son of Man, it says, has not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life to set many others free. 
Jesus Christ, God's son, came to this world, our world. He stepped from eternity into time to permanently settle the problem of sin once and for all. Christ accomplished this through two dramatic events. One, when he gave his life on the cross for your sin and my sin, this made the way for us to come to God. That's the greatest moment in history, the righteous for the unrighteous. And the most glorious moment in history was when he came alive and walked out of the grave and be- and was resurrected. This proved without question that he is God. You see, God provided the way for our relationship with him because he loves you and he loves me. You know, God's amazing gift to you this morning, beloved, is Jesus and the Holy Spirit. God wants to be eternally related to you. He wants you in the family. Maybe you have never felt like you belong to anyone or any place, but you can now. John 1, 12 says to all who believed in him and accepted him, he gave the right to become children of God. God wants to give you a new life that begins here and now and will never end. It will go on forever. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And that love, that great love of God is what draws us. This is the amazing gift which becomes yours when you are honest with God about your sin and repent. Then he you ask him to forgive you. He receives you and he receives uh, you and you are forgiven and you invite him to come into your life. It says, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were yet still sinners. God offers to give you a new unending life and your part beloved is only to accept this gift of eternal life. All of your sins will be forgiven and wiped out completely. You will then have peace of mind. You will no longer feel uh, guilt and shame. And if you do and they come back to, to taunt you, remember that your past is never to taunt you, but only to teach you. And the alternative, if you don't accept Christ, is an eternal separation from God. So you have the choice today to receive or reject God's great gift. And then after you do, after you have accepted Christ, all you have to do if you have never accepted Christ, beloved, I just ask you right now to pray, to say, I choose to go your way, Jesus. Thank you for giving life for me. I receive your forgiveness for my past sins. I repent of them. Thank you for your tremendous gift of everlasting life. And then tell him you will follow him. He will give you the assurance that you are a new creation. And not only that, when he gives you the assurance and and the peace that you need, remember to get into the word of God as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the word so that you can grow. And then develop a prayer life. And a prayer life is simply, to me, it it shows five parts. You worship Him, confess your sins daily if you need to, if you've done something wrong or or offended someone or, or, or are offended by someone, repent immediately, keep short accounts. Then bring all of your petitions to God request of God and then thank him live a thankful life in Jesus Christ and you will find always that you will have the faith you need to live by you've been listening to faith to live by with Sue Taylor if you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation write Sue Taylor 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.